It's hot, it's hot summertime, and I tell you what, when it gets hot and I get to a lake that has a river, that has a dam, just like this, where you can have some good tail race fishing, hot, hot weather means people are gonna run the air conditioners and they're gonna run the dam and get power generated, and what that's gonna do is make this water come on at these dams, and if you find you a good little dam to go to, and you get up here in the current this time of the year, you know, the water is cold coming out of the bottom of the dam, so a lot of these fish will migrate up here. A lot of them live here anyway, but then a lot of them just migrate up and get in this cooler water. And when that water gets to running, that's what triggers these fish to start biting. And I love to get up here in these places and find these little banks, like we've got all that swift water blowing out, and you've got an eddy here, so the water is sweep, sweeping down and backing and back flowing down this shoreline. So when you first look at it, you think, man, it's too much current to fish there, but it's really not. You get over and you find these little seams, these little places like this, and you look and you see these big blue heron birds standing all down the shoreline. That is the dinner table. They know that's where they're gonna get their food. And those bass do the same thing. Those fish, or those bass come up here eating shad just like those uh, birds are trying to do. So you just get in these areas and you just sneak your way up into them with this current, throwing a crankbait. I like to throw a, my Livingston Howler crankbait. This is, the, this is the Howler Plus. This will run about nine or 10 feet deep. It's got a lot of, a real hard wobble, big vibration to it. A really good summertime hot weather bait because it pushes a lot of water. This is, a, this is an oaky, oaky crawl color, Oklahoma crawl color, a new color. It's kind of brown, greenish, green pumpkin with a little red. You see it's beat up pretty good already from catching a lot of fish on it. I just caught one just a moment ago right here on it, and I'm thinking we're going to catch another one when we get up here on one of these little eddy points. But So I like to throw that crankbait, though. Try to keep it parallel. Just remember, you're looking at your Lowrance, that water drops off pretty fast uh, on, these, on these rocky shorelines. So you keep your bait. There's one right there, just a little small one. See that, how close to, to the bank that little bass was? That's not the size you want but it shows you what we're talking about, a little largemouth. Even a little small fish like that will still bite this big crawfish bait. And they eat a lot of crawfish up here behind the dam on these rocks, just like they eat shad. So I'll keep a crawfish crankbait tied on, on howler, and I'll keep my chartreuse shad or shad type color, and I'll rotate between the two baits until I figure out which one they want. Sometimes they want the crawfish, sometimes they want the shad. It's a lot of fun because you can, you, you know, I'll keep my crankbaits ready at these dams. I'll keep my top water bait, you know, and I'll throw that top water out there, that walking boss, and, and get some, you know, action on top because they'll always tend to school when, they, when there's current on, especially in these little eddies and backflow water areas like this. And it's just always activity here, you know, where if you go out and fish in the lake or in the river somewhere uh, in, the, in the heat of the day, you're gonna really have a struggle a lot of times to get bit. But if you come to where the current is on, the flow is flowing, all the act action is happening right here, you put yourself in position to catch some fish. So remember that, tail race fishing behind the dam, you know, be careful. Wear your life jacket when you get up behind these dams, a lot of times just for safety purposes. If you get in the current, I always try to do that when I get around the swift water. And, uh, and throw that howler, throw that crankbait, throw that square bill down these banks. Uh, the Tatula 7 foot medium light crankbait rod, that's my rod of choice, would die with a CT Tatula reel. It's going to make a lot of long casts for you and it's going to help fight those fish good as you get them back to the boat so you don't lose them.